It was a busy week of Gamecock sports. The volleyball team and men's and women's soccer teams were all back in action, in addition to the football team returning home to face the Central Florida Knights. This is Capital City Sports. <laughs> Welcome to this episode of Capital City Sports. I'm your host, Lauren Schwartz. First up, the women's soccer team took on Texas A&M Thursday night. Edwin Santa Maria was at Stone Stadium with the coverage. The Gamecocks found themselves in a tough SEC match this evening. It was a relatively balanced game regarding possession between the two teams throughout the match. Texas A&M opened the scoring with the goal driven straight into the bottom left corner with a slight mistake from the Gamecock keeper. Despite the score, the Gamecocks came out into the second half full of passion and fire. Abby Kreider had an outstanding double save that saved the Gamecocks and kept them in the game. Coach Samali Smith looked on as the Gamecocks created plentiful chances, one of which was converted by junior forward Deja Griffin. It came in on the 74th minute mark, tying the game at one apiece. And then came the big play with two minutes left to play. Raina Johnson put away the second goal, a free header to secure the Gamecocks to win. The Gamecocks move to 9-1 and 3-0 and in SEC play. They take on Alabama on Sunday. For Capital City Sports, this is Edwin Santa Maria. Returning to Columbia for their second home game of the season, the football team faced Central Florida on Saturday. The Gamecocks were hoping to rebound after a disappointing loss to Georgia last week. Kristen Whitaker was at williams Bryce Stadium on Saturday. Under tough conditions, both here at a very wet williams Bryce Stadium and after a tough loss last week to Georgia, the Gamecocks are looking to bounce back. Earlier this week, Coach Spurrier announced he would start freshman Lorenzo Nunez. Will that be enough to get this Gamecock offense rolling? Let's take a look. It's safe to say the Gamecocks controlled the first quarter of the game, making great plays on defense and completing passes on offense. Lorenzo Nunez would prove that he is a dual threat quarterback, running the ball when at all possible and making several complete passes to Farrah Cooper. The Gamecocks defense would hold up, but the offense would have a hard time making plays. Farrah Cooper would fumble a kickoff return and UCF would have the ball at the one yard line. They would take this opportunity in the red zone to score, heading into the half up by six points. Coach Spurrier would pep talk his guys at halftime, and that would seem to do the trick. Lorenzo Nunez would find a way and make a hole for Fair Cooper, leading them to score and taking the lead 15 to 14. South Carolina would quickly get the ball back with the first of two TJ Holloman interceptions. Nunez would fake a handoff to the left and find Jacob August for his first career touchdown catch. UCF would continue and try to pull their offense together, but that wouldn't be enough, and the Gamecocks would come out with a victory this afternoon, winning 31-14 to over Central Florida. After the game, Coach Spurrier sat down with us at the press conference and told us he was very pleased with the way Lorenzo Nunez played this afternoon. He says time will truly tell for the South Carolina football team. The Gamecocks travel to play a top 25 ranked team, Missouri, where they could face a lot more challenges. For Capital City Sports, I'm Kristen Whitaker. In more soccer action, the men's team faced New Mexico on Friday night. A win over New Mexico would be the Gamecocks' second straight over a top 10 opponent. Let's check in with Kayla Pace to see if they pulled it off. After a win against UAB last Friday and another against Elon on Monday, the Gamecocks are looking to continue their streak against New Mexico. Let's check out the highlights. The game started out with a quick goal by Kevin Walker in the third minute. The Gamecocks maintained a 1-0 lead for most of the game until a foul in the box against Chris Weehan in the 85th minute. Weehan then made a penalty kick, tying the game at one. The Gamecocks took several shots trying to regain their lead, but the game went into overtime. Jeffrey Torta snuck one past the goalie in the 98th minute, leading the Gamecocks to a 2-1 win over nationally ranked New Mexico. The Gamecocks got off to a strong start with an early goal by Kevin Walker. 
The game was long and competitive, testing the skills of both defenses. New Mexico came back with a late penalty kick, sending the game into overtime. In overtime, Jeffrey Torta scored a goal, securing a 2-1 win for the Gamecocks. For Capital City Sports, this is Kayla Pace. That is all for this edition of Capital City Sports. Be sure to catch our next live broadcast of Gamecock Hockey on October 8th. You can find the link on our YouTube page. Also, don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at CCS on SGTV. For Capital City Sports, I'm Lauren Schwartz. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next week.